start the new year off with a little hydration. Yeah. So, uh... <clears throat> So, uh, welcome to 2019. Expect less streams from me, more quality, and by that I mean quality with the with the most quotation marks around it as you could possibly muster. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the first stream obviously is gonna be shorter because I'm starting it really late, and I don't want to go too late with this. Uh, but. This, uh, there's a game that I wanted to play today, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll stream. Um, so this demo, this is actually a demo of a game, of an indie game. It's been out for a while, and I just never played it. I don't know why. And it just so happens that today, or yesterday rather, this game launched its Kickstarter campaign. And I was like, oh, you know what, I think I'll play the demo today. And I didn't even know they launched the Kickstarter yesterday. I looked at their Kickstarter, I'm like, oh, you know what, I'll pledge 15 bucks, because I want this game, and I want it to be funded. Pledged it, an hour later, I get noticed that it's been fully funded. And I'm just like, holy shit. Well, this is the perfect excuse to play it on stream, to celebrate that. So, as you could probably tell from the music... Uh, which, actually, you wouldn't be able to if you've been watching my streams, because I haven't streamed this game yet. This music is from uh, Mega Man Battle Network 4. Um, this game is actually inspired by Mega Man Battle Network, as well as taking a lot of cues from some other modern indie games, most notably Slay the Spire, which is... I have not played it. I've seen a lot of other people play it, especially Vinny, and uh, I do think the game looks cool. This is kind of like that, but with a faster-paced, more Mega Man Battle Network-like battle style, which I just think is so cool. And, uh, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't actually tried the demo yet. I've only seen some videos and clips. I, excuse me, I loaded up the demo for all of, like, five minutes earlier just to make sure it run. Uh, it may not. It may not work very well, but I'll try to, uh, make it work. Again, it's because I don't have a good computer. You know, this laptop is still kind of crusty. Uh, so, let me just get this lit. Let's, let's shut that off. We're done with that music. So let me get this up. Actually, let me... Okay, cool. It's showing. All right, neat. Uh, let's move this window a little bit. Just do a quick check here for a couple other things. Wait a minute. Okay, so that does stay up on screen. I had a weird thing before where it was like not staying on the capture. Hopefully that's not a case. That's not the case uh, now. Uh, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, um, this is obviously a demo. There's a uh, nothing final in the game. I mean, I would hope that the foundation of this game is what it is because. It's it looks really good. Uh, how does it look on stream actually? Like I haven't really gotten a good look. Oops, did not mean to press a button. Uh, okay, so it just throws you right in here. I'm gonna pull this up real quick. Uh, if the volume is too loud, let me know. Actually, I could just check. No, well, it seems to be coming in around the same volume as my voice. It does look a little blurry on stream just because I'm streaming at a lower quality. I'm also streaming at 30 FPS, and this game runs at 60, so that will make a difference in how the game looks on stream. Uh, actually, let me see settings. There we go. 30. That should be good. The labels on, on. Oh, that's sound effect. Let me check full. Uh, we're keeping it on that. It's not gonna change anything. So controls, I'm gonna use a keyboard, even though I do have uh, my Switch Pro Controller set up to work with my PC now, I'm actually not going to use it, because this game requires a lot of buttons, 
And I just want to uh, actually hold on. Let me just check here. Actually, it doesn't look too bad when I'm actually looking at it on stream. It looks way worse on my screen and on OBS. It looks very blurry on OBS. So, it uses basic arrow keys, EQW for attacks and spells and stuff. Uh, shuffle. So yeah, you'll, you'll see all this in a sec. Hold on. Uh, wait, what was this? Reset tutorial. Oh, here we go. Tutorial one of the ring. Move using the buttons. Cast spells using Q, W, and E. Spells use mana that recharges over time. So it's kind of like the custom meter, but like you can use it for a specific spell. Once all spells are used, they come back. Oh, so you, it's like battle chips. You, use, you have to use one after another, but they can regenerate. Shuffle at any time using space. So it's kind of like a... Almost like a Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories vibe to this. Alright, neat. Let's actually start. So yeah, it's, it's very much like Battle Network. You can move around your side, but not the enemy's side. You have an A marker. Uh, hitting E shoots as your basic shoot move. And you can hold it down to rapid fire. There is, as far as I can tell, no charge shot. That might change. So W will do spell 2, Q will do spell 1, and it'll cast however much mana is on the square. So if I do that, yeah, it's 1. And if I use this, that's 2. And that refills over time. Okay, cool. And if I press space, it just shuffles the deck. Just gotta wait for it. Stop and freeze. Oh, alright. I see how that works. Okay, so yeah, it's very... it's. It's very much like Battle Network, where every every spell or chip has its own range and damage and properties. Oops. And I hit space when I didn't mean to. And this is why I don't have it mapped to the Pro Controller. I keep hitting space to, like, shoot. So yeah, and then just like uh, Slay the Spire, you get to choose a reward spell afterwards. Your HP does not refill between battles. So let's see. Orbital beam, touch tile, tile break, laser shoot down from the sky to break four tiles in front. Crossfire hit, hits all diagonal directions. Magic claw, two slashes and a times four tiles in front. Minimum requirement, level 14 magician. Don't get caught in this one. I've got friends in high play. Oh, so these are just, um, those bottom things are just flavor text. So this obviously looks way better, but uh, it probably has a very complicated hit thing. Or rather, it hits it only hits once per square as opposed to the other ones, which hit multiple times per square. So I'll go ahead and take this one. And get some experience. Continue with the space bar. Practice using spells and when you're ready. Press to choose a zone. Tab plus Q. Oh, okay. See the map below to view the paths. Okay, so yeah. This um, this is where the Slay the Spire kind of thing comes in. You actually have a map, and it shows you exactly where you're going to go. It shows you if there's a battle, a present, a boss, or something. I don't know what that little signal thing means. I guess I'll find out. Uh, you hit Tab, and then choose one of the three paths to go on it. But right now, you can actually just fuck around with your spells a bit. You can open the menu, um, choose which one. Oh, you can remove spells. Okay. Neat. G to remove. All right, you can't actually do anything with that. It just shows the. Uh... So that's neat. You actually get to try out each spell before you get to before you move on. So let's see. 
So that one just... So that one starts at the corner, but it, like, comes back. It's really weird. That, that's gonna take some getting used to. So behind... It hits behind you first, and it goes in an X shape, culminating on where you're standing. That's pretty cool. It's just a shot forward. So this wave, I gotta get used to. It only goes the three squares. It's not like the wave from Battle Network where it goes to the end. Okay, I think I've got enough, uh, enough practice here. So let's see, tab out, and then we will go... Let's go to the bottom path so I can take the uh, present. Whoa, okay. So that that uh, difficulty definitely ranched, uh, ratcheted up real quick. The nice thing is that unlike Battle Network, if you run into an enemy, it does not automatically damage you. Hmm. Oh, I was like... Why is this one, like, bringing up... Oh, add to deck two. Adds two kunais to your deck. Throw a fast kunai, throw tiles. Neat. Poison, 40, fast shot. Deals 40 amount of damage and decreases by half every second. On hit when the spell hits. Okay, cool. Matt Kunai. Frostbolt. When the spell hits a target, stack three times to deal 100 bonus damage. Can't act or move while casting the spell. Interesting. Let's take the poison dart. Actually, get to it. That's not it. Uh, the, is the poison thing just kind of like instant? It says sub tank. On player death deplete. On player death heal 600. Come back to life and heal 600 HP. Only works once. Oh, cool. I didn't know I had that. Oh, you could use the mouse too to just highlight stuff. That's good. But, uh, really though, how do I get to the, um, poison thing I just got? Or did I not take it? Maybe I accidentally didn't take anything. It doesn't look like I have it. That's weird. Oh, let's go to the present. How do we crack this open? I guess you could just shoot it. Yeah. Whoa! Uh-oh. That's pretty cool. Explosive tendons on enemy kill cast spell. Ex enemies explode on death dealing 40 damage. Got a blast. Donkey Kong. I don't feel like that's the right quote. When an enemy is killed, cast that. Like, do I have to choose that? Or are these, like, passives? I'm guessing they must be passives of some sort. Alright, so... That person, if you don't da if you don't kill them, they'll heal you at the end of the fight. I do not know what that thing at the bottom of the screen does, though. Oh, fuck. I 
I killed her. Whoops. does knife throw a fast knife orbital beam I, we don't got that boomerang hits going forward and back oh I, you know I press I hit skip I had space last time that's why I'm supposed to hit Q I'm gonna be doing that a lot probably so I leveled up so I get something else med kit heals 250 right now Thorn mail. Damage all enemies for 10 whenever you take damage. Mana regen. A little more mana. Coming back. I can feel it coursing through my veins. Stop hitting yourself. I don't need it. I don't need it. I do need it. I need it. What do we got here? Campfire? Okay, cool. So it just heals you as it dwindles. That's pretty neat. Alright, okay, I should try my other thing now. Let's see. Oh, so that's not like the boomerang from Battle Network. That just goes straight forward and then comes right back. It does go to the end of the row, though. That's helpful. So, alright. The first, the first and only issue I would have so far is the fact that the aim marker is only always three spaces in front of you. Like... There's nothing to indicate that hitting Q here will actually shoot this the full length. It's just that, like, Thunder will hit there. Crossfire won't. The Wave will. And Stop Slash will. So I guess, like, the default range for moves like that is three spaces. But it, it is kind of hard to tell, like, when and how that's going to work. I guess you just have to kind of get used to it. But I'm sure, um... I'm sure I'll either adapt to it or they'll change it. <laughs> One or the other. Alright, time to see what this uh, wired signal's about. Wireless signal. Uh, it's another battle. Cool. Two spell power for battle. Fast shot. Oh, it's the poison thing from before. Magic claw. Yeah, let's take that one. Plus two in defense. Each one increases the angle of your armor by a couple degrees. <laughs> plus two defense. Blue flame. Max mana minus one. Mono regen plus point three. Let's just take the heal again. Okay, so Poison Dart just goes the full length. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on one second. So if you're not in the same row as the boomerang, it doesn't come back. Alright, that's cool. I still wonder why this area had that, though. Whatever. Not important. I really gotta watch out for the crossfire. <laughs> Oh, 
fuck every time. Oh man, I really gotta be careful with that. <laughs> three by three explosions on every other tile in front. A s summons a gun turret. Step lacerate, dash forward three tiles and hit them. Hit that one. Also, the level ups come quick after you do the first couple rounds. Shuffle one second faster, plus one to max mana, plus two on defense. Uh, I better take that one, actually. <laughs> so it's boss time, I guess. Oh, hey there. Someone's a fast learner. Unfortunately for you, this is the end of the demo, so... Let's have some fun. Oh, she blocked me. Cool. Oh, there's tile breaking. That's, that's, uh... Oof. Oh, shit. Oh, you can poison your own turrets and damage them. That's definitely, um... That definitely requires a little, uh... A little strategy used properly. Yeah, she's about to take me out. All right, E tank or sub tank. All things considered, I did pretty good there. Total time estimated, 26 minutes. Beat Shopkeeper, beat Secret Boss, beat Her, beat Hell Mode. And email on release day. What'll be in the final game? Hundreds of new spells and items, way more characters, bosses, and enemies, alternate endings and routes, more unlockables, visit the Shopkeep store, mod support, higher level enemies and challenges, and more. Coming quarter three of this year. Neat. I'm definitely gonna do another run of that. That was really good. Fun as hell. I just have to learn, like, the controls are definitely not something I'm used to doing. Because I'm used to using a controller. But I tried using a controller before, and I was, uh, like, when I started it. To test it before, and I was like, oh, I, uh, I like, can't get the hang of this. Permanently increased damage on kill. Ooh, that's interesting. Frost barge. Barrage. Barge? Frost barge. Barge! Yeah, I did it. I actually won without kill the without the. I actually won without killing the girl. Neat. Okay, what do we want this time? Frostbolt, meditate, or shotgun. On hit, mana two anchor. Freeze for 0.5 seconds to gain two mana. Ooh. Hits cone in front three times damage to the tile in front. Point this at something you don't like. Let's take the shotgun. So how does this one work? Let's see. Oh, alright. So it's like a it's a small cone in front and it does three damage. 
to the first space, and then one to each of the other three. I get this game. This is pretty rad. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And it's actually not running too bad on my PC. So there is definitely a generous amount of time before a tile gets hit when that uh, exclamation point appears. I'm used to, um... I don't know what game uses those exclamation points to... Uh, signify getting hit, but there's definitely enough of a, of a t like, if you see that, you have a second to get off that square. It's not like Battle Network where if you see a square flash, like, you're, you're, you're dead if you don't leave it within, like, a few frames. Explosive Tendons. On enemy kill, cast spell. Enemies explode on death, dealing 40 damage. That's the same thing I got last time. Uh, let's go down so I could go to the present again. I guess the big downside to not doing every battle is that you don't level up as much. Alright, so there's no reason not to hold down E constantly if you're not, uh, if there's nothing, like, to protect in the area. Someone's a column, a columns of torts, port a fort. Machine gun, fires 20 shots, powerful, weak. Frostbolt, oh, we already know what Frostbolt does. I definitely want the machine gun. That's, uh, ooh, level up. Deal enemies, dead enemies leave flames behind, two defense, or one mana. Uh, let's, let's go with, um... Let's go with two defense, just because... As the, as the game goes on, it gets harder not to get hit. Let's see how the shotgun works. Oh, it, it just works while you're moving. So is there a way to cycle through sp Whoa, no, no. What happened? I didn't mean to move automatically. Whatever. I healed. I was honestly going to go there instead of going to the present anyway, just because I was a little low on health. Uh, let me just check here. Let me see what the uh, controls are. Choice one. Oh, choice one, choice two, choice three. Okay, so that's... It went for the arrows. Remove spell G. Cast spell three, N, A, R. Interesting. So there's going to be a third spell slot at some point. Choose zone, tab, mute, M... Okay. Honestly, I'm getting the hang of this. I might rebind this to a keyboard or a controller later. So, um... Before I go any further, though, uh, I do definitely recommend checking out the Kickstarter for this game. Just look up uh, One Step From Eden on Twitter. Uh, their account has, like, a bunch of updates on the game. They keep it updated constantly. They just start, Like I said, they just started their Kickstarter yesterday, and they've already hit their initial funding goal, so it's gonna get made. Uh, I would like to see them get more, because if they can make a lot more within the next 29 days, there may be a Switch version coming out early next year, and I would love that. Having this game portable would be fucking amazing. So I would definitely recommend uh, throwing, throwing a few bucks towards the uh, one step from Eden Devs, because they deserve it. They really do. I've actually already backed it myself, too, so I am going to get a copy of the full game, and I'll probably stream it if it's the PC version or if it's the Switch version and I get uh, a capture card by then. Either way, I will play it. <laughs>
Infinity Beam, Piercing Laser until you move, two slashes, Virus Spell, Duplicate the spell when you cast, add to discard. Ten times nine hundred ninety nine, Jesus. Can be interrupted. And you like that ability though. Adds three kunais to the deck at your start of the battle. Plus one max mana, plus one mana regen. So do I want more mana or do I want to regain it faster? Ah right, fuck it, I'll take more. So that really just does last forever, huh? So if you have the damage to just... Well, actually, no, because if you get hit, it, it breaks. Still, that is uh, pretty cool. So I'm guessing the ones with the signals are where there's people to help, because that's what I've been noticing reoccurring so far. Buddy. Oh, even if you get hit, it still fires. Ooh, that's cool. That's really neat. I, I'm uh, something tells me in the full version that's gonna be like my favorite spell. Just fire and forget. <laughs> Weak thunder hits four tiles in front. Stand and shoot one laser. Create a flame four tiles in front. Now you're thinking. Nah, you're thinking of lightning. using before. Yeah, this one, right? No, wait a minute. Did I take one that I already have? Mini Thunder. Weak Oh, Weak Thunder hits four tiles in front. Thunder hits four. Oh, I see. So that doesn't use any, um... That uses no mana. That's why. Oh, Why did I take that? <laughs> Whatever. All right, time to lose. Back for more. Let's see if I can just cheese this out. Oh, when you shoot though, that ends, it ends the effect. not how it works, Nox. That's not the that's not the line. Yeah, there you go. Revive and do it and do it this time. Oh, god, the frame rate's getting kind of crusty. Jacking in sounds lewd. I thought I would spare you for once. But if you insist on me being lewd, so okay, full lewd mode and activate. Nox, do not. Do not. It's a new year. We're not supposed to do this. Jeez. 
Cheating ass motherfucker. Okay. Give me that heal. That sweet heal. Ice hockey. Ooh. The godship of the later Battle Network games. Assuming it works the same way. Oh, it uses three mana. Okay. Let's see how this works. Yep. That is, uh, that is indeed... That is indeed the godship, except it goes back into your, uh, area. That's interesting. So, if you move up, down, left, and right, like, normally, it doesn't stop your fire... But if you move rapidly, she stops firing. That's uh, pretty cool, actually. It's a neat little uh, edge to that. All right, let's see. Wait, Q. Hockey wasn't as good as Dark Sniper Soul. I mean, it depends on the game. I'm thinking Battle Network 6, since that's where all the competitive online play is. Pit hockey is ridiculous. Or dickle. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Half of the bit. I've only been streaming for 40 minutes? Jesus. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, this stream isn't gonna be too long. I'm probably gonna stop maybe in 11 or so. Like, hour and a half in. So, like, 50 minutes from now or so. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so, yeah, the, the ones with the, um... The ones with the radio signal always have a hostage. Oops. Oh, the enemy can kill them. Okay. Well, because the only thing on the schedule tonight, or, you know, the only thing I decided to stream today is this. And I don't know how much, how long I'm going to play it. I mean, that said, given how well I'm playing, it's probably going to be a while before I can complete a run. Because the thing is, even if I beat that boss, there's another boss right afterwards. Cool. So that's a healing. It's it's a energy move. So the first, um, the first treasure chest always seems to be the explosive one. Interesting. Oh, no, there's a path down. I'm like, there's no path. If I go down, there's nothing down there. <laughs> let's go, yeah, let's go down just because I'm not doing too well on health here. this thing does. I didn't destroy it last time I played the stage. Uh, apparently nothing? Come here. Come here, buddy. week you catch the virus like in real life or on your computer display new gentleman over your computer anywhere are you sure that's not a virus and just not what you were looking up it was malware <sighs> you know what Knox 
Energizer. Wait, would we lose this? Did I level up? Oh, wait, no. Gain 40 shield. Shield 40. Best defense. A block's 40 damage. Oh, that's good. Each time the spell's cast, increase its damage by 40 until the end of, end of battle. But it has no damage to start. Hmm. Hmm. Taking the med kit. Did it just, like, add a shield to me, or what? what's going on? Or is that W? No, that's, med that's Meditate. Must be used in battle. I think that's what it said. Must be in battle. All right, so it just adds, uh, it just adds extra damage in front of your health. That's cool. Alright, I'm definitely not... Uh, d the stuff like Meditate is definitely not going to be in my final... Like, my preferred move set. Because that's definitely, like... I'm, I'm definitely more of a run-and-gun person. I'm not a stand-in-place-and-wait-for-some-health-to-come-back. Crossfire. Well, we know that how much luck I had with that before. Well, on Hit Flame. Let's see what PK... Oh, PK Fire. Fucking beautiful. 25% to shoot laser on spell cast. Go for the eyes. Oh, yeah. Sort of reminds you of Slay the Spire. That's uh, what people are comparing it to. It's, um, people are saying this game's Mega Man Battle Network meets Slay the Spire in terms of its progression and uh, spells, and I don't disagree. I have never actually played Slay, Slay, uh, Slay, the, Slay, the, Slay, the Pyre, uh, Slay the Spire. I have seen Vinny stream a shitload of it, and it does look fun. Doesn't look like I'd want to sink the time into it. This, I definitely want to sink the time into. Like, I feel like this this is my Slay This Fire. <laughs> Let's see what PK Fire is like. Uh, it just shoots in front of you? Wait a minute, let me check that. Leaves flame on hit. Oh, okay. So do I want to go up into battle, down into battle, or straight into battle? Let's go down into battle. I also just noticed you can position yourself before uh, the battle starts, which is really neat. Also, like I said before, if you hit, um... Oh, you could stack the shield, too, because I have more than 40. But yeah, like I said before you came in, uh, if you actually do a rush move into the enemy's territory, it doesn't hurt you if you touch an enemy, which is really nice. That's something that Battle Network, that I hated in Battle Network. Bouncing beam lasts three seconds. Cold medicine shoots a healing projectile. That's, ooh. Summons a gem that gives three mana when destroyed. Your D&D &D DM doesn't allow you to stack shields. You generally can't do that. That's against the rules. In D&D, in &D, when it comes to temp HP, it's just whatever's higher. So if you have 10 temp HP, and you do something that gives you 12, then you have 12, you don't have 10. Likewise, if you have 12 temp HP, and you do something that gives you 10, nothing happens. You know what, you can actually ditch spells. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get rid of Meditate. Just because I really can't deal with that. I'm sure you can't spam this outside of battle. 
Yeah, it must be used in battle. You play an Abjuration Wizard, so you always get temp HP when you cast defensive spells. It's quite handy. Uh, yes, temp HP is quite handy. My uh, Swashbuckling Rogue in my main story, which, by the way, if you didn't see, I got a commission. If you check my Twitter, check my pinned post, um, my brother actually got me a commission of what my character looks like. He has Inspiring Leader, which is on a short rest. As long as he has 10 minutes, he can give everyone temp HP equal to his level, plus his... Um, his charisma modifier it's really useful because it can be used up on, on to, up to 10 targets including himself so it can only be used once per short rest but it can be used on 10 targets at once proficiency for dispel and counterspell dms hate you let me tell you you would have come in handy in my in my last uh arc that i played in because we had some uh crazy bullshit happen at the end involving spells having some uh dispel advantage would have definitely helped us. So wait a minute. Cold medicine. That's it, right? Cold medicine. Shoots a healing projectile. Wait a minute. What? That doesn't help me, though. I like how it tells you exactly how much mana you need. Like 1.7, 1 1.3, 1 0 0.7, 0 0.4. Demon cast level 7, wreck your shit spell. Me, counter spell rolls high. DM must spell. Must spell. Moo spell. Yeah, I'm fucked. This boss is uh gonna kill me. She's gonna taunt me, and then she's gonna kill me. You must really like me. Oh, fuck. So that just straight up heals her. Great. Oh, no, I was on the wrong lever. Layer. Level. 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 Also, it only heals 20, so not very useful. Good, but I really can't let you through. Sorry. Come by my shop sometime. Three, two, one. Boom. Wow. Okay, thanks. Ripping pieces. Bonus SK spells unlocked for future runs. Neat. So that was a win. What's the plot of this? Uh, what's the plot of this game? To be honest, I have no clue. I'm sure there is a plot. I haven't seen it. If there was one in the trailers. All I know is that it's fun, I really like it, and I want this game on my Switch, like, tomorrow. Even though, even if that that goal gets met, it's not going to be till 2020. Are we playing 5e? Yes, we play 5e. Honestly, I love 5e. I think it's, like, the best version of D&D I've ever experienced. So what's next? Beat Secret Boss, beat her, beat Hell Mode. Hmm... Also, there's bird people. What, 5e? I mean, Pathfinder has bird people, too. Or are you talking about this game? Where were the bird people? I didn't see them. Alright, you know what? Let's do another run since I finished the first one. Kenku's equal best. Yep. In, um... In Pathfinder, they were Tengu instead. Which are pretty much the same thing, just... They're they're just the the Paizo version of Kenku, but they were definitely more of like the traditional like Tengu. Well, that's one way to end it. <laughs> yeah, just kill you instantly. She crushed me with her book, killing me instantly. 
Let's go again. Alright, so there's a shopkeeper this time. Let's not fuck it up. Fucked it up. If I had to, t if I had to hazard a guess, uh, the way one of the ways to get a different ending is probably to rescue all the hostages. So that would mean I'd have to go to both of those uh, wireless signals. So I have to kind of keep to the top path. Though I could do down and then present that. Uh, eh, uh, okay, that's what I want here. Devour max HP ten consume. It's the circle of life. Bonus SK. Oh, that's a new one. Mini Thunder. Well, we don't want Mini Thunder. Thunderstorm. Rains down four waves of six Thunder Strikes on random enemy tiles. 50 damage times 24. Oh. Oh, I want to try Devour, but this is, ri th this is ridiculous. Devour. So Devour, if the spell kills an enemy, you get 10 max HP. Removes from deck until the end of battle. Yeah, I'm taking Thunderstorm. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my god. That's gonna destroy any, any chance I have of rescuing hostages, but whatever. You can tell how often I play PC games by the fact that I keep missing the buttons. Also, I'm being very hasty and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Earthshaker. I heard you want to play Parasite Eve 2 again this year. No, whatever gave you that idea. Parasite Eve 2 is my favorite game ever. Cracks all tiles. Watch your step. Ah, uh, that's not useful. I don't like that. Crossfire fucked me. I'll take Unilaser. Okay, so it just shoots one single fuck beam straight forward. Oh, fuck. Ooh, I got something different this time. On player hit, damage- oh, cool. So that's that ability where if you get hit, um, all the enemies take 10 damage. Do you know if this demo or the final product will have PvP? That is a good question, actually. Um, I have no clue. You would have to ask the devs? Actually, you know what? Let me just use my little Twitter and fingers here. I'll find out. Let's see. Nox sent me an image. DM, two damage. Level one wizard. Arr! Cool. One step from Aiden. PvP. There will be local co-op and PvP for fun. Yes. They they want to focus on making a great single player game over a good over a mediocre multiplayer game. That's their exact words. So um it's not gonna be online. It will have multiplayer local PvP. But uh, they said maybe after release. Um, I would say the best way to get the possibility of online PvP. Um, 
would be to go and back their Kickstarter. Because honestly, Kickstarter has a few goals they haven't revealed yet. Or at least one. They have, um, like, guest, uh, guest soundtrack, extra unlockable costumes. Uh, the Switch version, which I really want, because this game isn't running too well on my PC. I had to lower it to 30 FPS. And then, who knows? Maybe there's a... Maybe there'll be PvP online, who knows? I still don't know what those crystals do. Ooh, I am doing really bad this run. Hey, no problem. I'm glad I can help. Shields up. Definitely taking that. What is this? Unequip. Change max HP, heal 999. Need you heal to full health, but lose. Ooh. That minus 250 max HP. So that'll bring me up to 900 or so. What? Okay. Fuck it. Let's take it. Fuck it, right? Fuck it. No, 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 we don't want to hurt her. No! I didn't mean to use that. Yeah, okay. I think she's good. She's okay. Don't worry. I don't think there's any uh, penalty for taking too long. Thank you. I'll take that heal. Orbital Beam. Laser shoot down from sky to break full tiles in front. Poison. We haven't seen Orbital Beam yet. Let's take that one. Heal 250 health right now. Heal 20 HP frost bonus whenever frost bonus is damaged. Is de Heal 20 HP whenever frost bonus is damage. Bonus damage is dealt. Overpriced but delicious. Hmm. Let's just take the heal. The heal is always the good choice. I don't want to stop. This is good. This is fun. Okay, let's, um... What's next? Alright. New spell. Kind of wish there would be just an option to cycle through them after you get one. So let's see, this is four tiles in front. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Can I move during that? That wasn't the right spell. Yeah, you can. Oh, that's neat. So if you know the right way to move, you could just get a square or a line or whatever fun little pattern you want. Let's go. can't go to the other one. Shit. I didn't notice that there wasn't the one. Oh. oh, I couldn't do all of them anyway. Because I went to the top one and it forced me into this one and now I can't go up. Alright, so this is pointless. I don't want that. Glassify. Shoots three fragile. Shot applies three fragile to opponent. They called me Mr. Glass. Okay, let's take Glassify. I'm assuming that means you take more damage. That's one of those shopkeeper spells, too. Hmm. 
Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So the transmission thing doesn't mean someone needs to be rescued because there's someone right there. Don't use that thunder spell. <laughs> Oh yeah, they take more damage. I figured. Cool. Step lacerate. Uh, I think we have that already. Boomerang. Bomb toss. Throws a destroyable bomb four tiles in front. I always had bad luck with um, time bomb chips, but you know what? I'll do it. 25% chance to shoot laser on spell cast. Go for the odds. Yeah, let's take it. Ow! Fuck. Okay. Are we friends yet? No, we're not. Wow, that laser does nothing to her. Also, I know she's just taking less damage in general, because when I get hit, she's only taking 8 damage. So she just has higher defense now. Yeah, she's like got like a plus two defense to everything. So she's just taking less damage in general. Interesting. I rescued everyone. Let me do. Let me do. No. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> you know what? I'll let her deal with you. Oh, so you just needed a way to survive the attack. Oh god, who's this? Would you prefer to be diced or julienned? Yep, yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. This is a nope. This is a nope right here. I'm guessing this is what they meant by her. Her in all caps. All things considered. Hey, look up. Alright. Beat her. I wonder what the secret boss is then. That's good. I can go for another run. So, Legemba, what do you stream that you're uh, partnered? It always. I'm, I'm interested. I'm fascinated that a, someone partnered on Twitch actually is interested enough to stick around my stream.
you're a fan of grid fighters like Eden. Oh. Well, cool. Mega Man Battle Network is like my favorite game series ever, so I couldn't pass up this opportunity. You stream events and tournaments mainly for Smash and fighting games. Hey, I'm that's cool, man. I'm not super into fighting games. I do and also bet Mega Man BN and Cycle. Cool. I'm definitely into Smash. I wish I could stream uh, like console games, but unfortunately I just don't have a capture card right now. And even if I did, this laptop is very, very poor. <laughs> so I'm just not, I'm not feeling that right now. But, uh, might happen sometime this year. Alright, so let's see. What do I want to do this time? Let's try... Let's try dodging all the presents and campfires and just do straight battles. End cycle is dope if you haven't tried it out. Similar to Eden, but full on PvP right now instead of full on single player. Interesting. I would give it a shot, it's just, you know, I, like I said, my laptop is not very great. I don't know if it would be able to run it. Maybe if I just didn't stream it and I just played it for fun? Uh, we'll see. I'll definitely give it, uh, I'll definitely look into it. Shield to random tile. Uh, that's not that good. It's going forward and back. similar to this, so you don't think you might have issues. Oh. Hmm. If I had I already had it installed, I probably would have streamed it tonight, honestly. Mana pot. Consume three mana. Consume three mana. Removes from deck until the end of battle afterwards. Mini thunder. Cold mana. Ah, uh, none of these are that great. I'll take the, I'll take the mana. Uh, enemies explode on death. Dealing four. You know what? Let's take that. Excuse me. So what is that thing? That spire? Bow snipe, charge for 0.5 seconds and fire for a powerful shot. 250 damage. Nice. Alright, so that requires the full three. So do I hold it? Yep. If I tap it, does it go faster? Nope, that was the wrong button. No, actually. Oh, so the charge is automatic. Alright. I see how that works. Monopot shields up. Shields up is always a good choice. Plus two max mana, minus 250 max HP. That's actually really good. I like that idea. I like that. Let's try that. Alright, so I took the shield. Okay. Ooh, okay, so we got an interesting situation here. Alright, 
probably can do this if I aim angle this like this. I have to outlast this though. Get life aura. I wish. If this game has an equivalent of life aura, you know I'm totally gun gunning for that every run. It's like one of my favorite trips ever. <laughs> Whirl hits three tiles in front, two slashes. In, I haven't actually taken that one yet. It's three tiles in front. Can't act or move while casting this spell. Let's take that one. Gain plus one mana on spell cast. Uh, essentially reduces the spell cost of, by point one. Eh, take the fence. Oh, Tornado only goes three spaces instead of two. So everything in this game seems to be increased one space. The default range is four spaces in front of you. The battlefield is four by four. They're going by rule of fours instead of rule of threes. Okay. I got it. Shields in this game don't automatically just absorb a hit. If you take damage that goes beyond your shield, you, you still get that damage. Interesting. I haven't played uh, Chrono X yet, the demo of that Battle Network fan game. Is that any good? I, I like the music from it. Gain one mana on reshuffle. Hmm. You can pass through enemies without any damage. That's an improvement over Battle Network. Yes, I love that. If you touching an enemy just doesn't automatically damage you, like in Battle Network. Uh, no charge shots either, but you can. Yeah, you can do that. If you move fast, though, you stop, which is really neat. I like that concept of if you're going to dodge, you're not going to attack at the same time. Okay, so it does refill an extra mana on uh, reshuffle. That said, you can't do it that quickly in a boss battle. Just take a screenshot. Uh, my mind button's not working. Here we go. It's weird. So shield wouldn't really help. The only way to get to the next boss from here is to have the sub tank. Because if I shield, it's just gonna block 40 damage and then I take another... 9,959. So essentially the only way to fight the hidden boss is if I use the sub-tank and only have 600 health. Yeah, this is gonna work. 
Yep, it only it only just blocks the damage. It doesn't actually uh, it doesn't absorb a full hit. That kind of sucks, but hey, it adds another level of uh, strategy. Also, someone's sending me a message saying, "Holy shit, what?" Oh, sweet. Alright, so hey, speaking of Dungeons & Dragons, I just found out the first book for 2019 for 5e gonna have a nautical, th nautical theme. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, uh, water adventure, sea monsters, fun shit like that. Ah, oh, yes! That makes me happy. I am so down for some aquatic adventures. Actually, you know what? Can I pause this? No, you know what? Let's finish this first. Alright, so whatever those boxes are, they disappear. Hold on just a second. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Classify mirror damage. Shot shoots a shot that applies link. Oh, cool. So it's like the damage, um, copy damage from Battle Network 3. I like that idea. Alright, sorry. I don't want to let that, uh, that music get old. <laughs> there's no, um, there's no thing this time around. No, um, radio wave thing. Interesting. Let's go for both of the presents this time. So we have to go middle, and then we have to head up. So Link does not last long, so it's like Battle Network, where you have to use it pretty quickly. Blast Crystals. Summons two crystals that fire a shot on death. Neat. Taking that. have its uses. Move on. Alright. 
Now we go up. Oh, I could do either or. They both go to the present. Gotta pay close attention to that. Also, I am once again not hitting the right buttons. And that's because I'm not paying attention. How do you figure out whether a cat is from Texas or not? I'm afraid to ask, but how? Heart of Gold. Heal the full health, but minus five defense. Oof. Because it greets you with a meowdy. One second. Let me just, uh... Ban Skunkinator Okay, no more of that Plus one of X mana I'm not taking a minus four penalty I'm joking dude, I'm not actually getting I'm not gonna murder ya Or ban you, I don't know why I said murder Actually get from these? I didn't see. Mana gem plus one. Oh, wait, no. Explosive tendons. Okay, and what's this one? Ghost costume. Start battle invincible for seven seconds. Boo earns. They saying boo or boo earns. You can't murder me. I have an AC of 23. Well, good thing I rolled a natural 20 and I add a plus eight modifier. God, we're fucking nerds. Okay, well, we got all the presents. And there ain't no time like it, so... I have no health left. That sucks. A Simpsons reference. Now I have to back this. <laughs> wow, I'm doing shit this run. be gained from giving up. I think I get like a bonus damage if I knock the crystal into someone. Not too sure on that though. Devour max HP ten. Okay. Oh, okay. So that has to be shot at an enemy for that to work. Time to lose. 
Can't get enough of me? I will say there is, um, there is definitely a level of finesse required for this that I'm currently not displaying. I'm sure if I spent more time with this, I probably would be able to, but I think right now, getting to this spot is probably the best I can hope for. I actually won, but I also didn't. Okay. What are you doing? Who are you killing? Who are you shooting? I'm not there. Uh, I honestly don't think I'm going to make any more progress here, but you know what? Let's do another run. I'm at about an hour and a half. I could I could keep going. I was gonna stop at eleven, but sure, why not? Let's do another one. Hit self. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Hit self. Why? Not a big fan of the music. It is a little a little bland, but um again, this is just the demo. I've been told that the um full game is going to have guest music by the guy who made music for um what is that game called? Valhalla? V V four one one L space I, I can't remember. Check the Kickstarter page, it's on there. Um and apparently one of the stretch goals is like a whole alternate soundtrack. So, you know, if this game interests you, and, but you don't like the music, fund them. Give them the money. They can have another soundtrack. Yes, that was a, mo a mother. That was a, an, a... Why I say a mother? That was an Evanescence reference. Alright, wait a minute. Why? What's the point of this chip? It just hurts me. I'm ditching that. I'm sure there is a point to it, but I'm, I'm getting rid of it. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Oh, fuck. This thing could hurt. It could hurt the NPC. Shush, I know. I'm gonna help you. There, I helped you. Maybe there's some sort of effect that requires you to take damage, or maybe something that makes you get mono when damaged. I think, yeah, it's probably for some special status ailment that I'll probably never see in this demo, because I'll never be good enough to see it. Uh, what do we got? Castle, Thunder, Execute, Double Cast, Fast Shot, Kill Shot, One Shot, One Kill. Interesting. Is that I'm trying to play it too quick when I should when I can really like 
take my time with it a bit. Like, I'm trying too hard to spam shit to, like, get battles done quickly. Forte. Gain 150 f shield once per battle. Gladly, battle's my forte. Yes, there's the reference I was waiting for. So it's literally... It, it is life aura. It's life aura, but it's just... It's only can be used once. Plus two power, minus two defense, plus two defense... If I could get these two in tandem with each other, that'd be neat. Heals 250 health right now. Uh, I'm missing less than that. People say a claymore can be a double-edged sword. Each one increases the angle of your armor by a couple degrees. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go for the power. What card did I take? I have no idea. What, what did I take? Alright, does it list in an order? Forte. Alright. Oops. I was just joking. I was just talking about it and then I forgot completely. Must be in battle. It is just straight up life aura though. So there you go. The only downside is I can only use it once, whereas the other shield I can use it every time I respawn my deck. Step spin. Dash forward three tiles and slash surrounding tiles. Pull target towards you. Shields up, gain 40. Well, you know what? I'll just go full shield. Plus one mana regain. Dead enemies leave flame. Let's take dead enemies leave flame behind. Oh, my only choice is the present. Well, no time like it. Alright, I can't use that at a battle. Cold Press Juice. Heal 20 HP whenever Frost Bonus Damage is dealt after 3 stacks. Overpriced but delicious. I can't actually read what this one says because the text is overlapping it. Way to go. Ah, oh, this this one looks awful. Super minigun fires a hundred shots, two damage each. That's pretty good. Cause that's good against enemies with defense, because even though they'll only take like one damage, they'll still get hit a hundred times. Oh, I like that idea. I wish I had that infinity laser again. That item was fucking rad. Oh, I don't even have enough to use it. That sucks. That requires four mana. I didn't notice that. Well, maybe I'll get another one after I level up. Let's 
Really should have paid attention to that. Giant Sword deals massive damage four tiles in front. See you at Valhalla. Huh. Nice reference. This is a lot less strategy than Slay the Spire. Well, I mean, Slay the Spire is more of a straight-up, like, card game, isn't it? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've watched someone stream it. You'll rent 40 damage to a random enemy every time you consume a card. On consume... So that means that I have to use a card that specifically goes out of my deck, which kind of sucks. I didn't get the mana point either. That really sucks. You know what that means? It means I just got to ditch it because I'm not going to be able to use it. Also, why can't I ditch it? What happened? Forgot about Slay the Spire. Heard it was good. It is very good. It actually is very similar to how this game is. Only, um, the battle, like, in terms of the map progression and how you get new cards, it's, it's, it's almost the same. Uh, the map, the battle system is more, um, like a card game, though. Like a turn-based RPG with cards. Whereas this is more, like, straight-up battle network. Ragnarok, how's that work? Oh, alright. I didn't see it hit the ground last time. It, like, didn't play the animation. But seriously, why can't I get rid of this? Is there a button there? Ditch spells, or am I like, is it purposely not letting me throw them away right now? Remove spell, keyboard G. Yeah, it's not working. Well, whatever. Time to lose. I'm not doing too well this time. Not being able to use one of my spells is probably the worst part. <laughs> oh god, that just destroys you. Shit, man. That, however, was amazing. Ooh, I actually get a chance at the, uh... The final boss here. Would you 
prefer to be. Oh, I already read that. I'm not doing this. This ain't happening. Her moveset reminds you of Proto Man. Probably. Definitely seems to be the intention. Uh. Eh. No, let's, let's go one more. Let's go one more. We'll do one more. I don't think it was going to get better than that, but hey, we'll do one more. One more. I'm definitely going to try mapping this to a uh, controller next time I play it. Let's finally dig into this and see what this does. It's a good way to top this off. Cool, so that's literally Slashman's move. Three tiles in front, X-shape. Alright, so destroying those boxes gives you a healing spot. Good to know. I love that super hot fire. Thorn mail. Damage all enemies. Oh, cool. I like that one. down three waves of six shots on random tiles. Ooh, and it's poison. Interesting. Let's see what that does. Max mana minus one, mana regen plus 0.3. That's pointless. Because I have... Oh, actually, I have no three, uh, three mana attacks. So that would actually be a lot quicker. So I would get my mana back quicker, but I would, wouldn't be able to use more powerful spells. Okay. Plus one max mana. I'll actually take that. That way, if I get a four, I could try that. Oh, cool. That's just random waves. there. What's that one? Ghost costume. Good. I like that one. And I think I need to 
box. That sucks. It's my own fault. I was just mashing buttons, so I like totally didn't aim any of that stuff. Soul Gun. Permanently increased damage on kill. Cool. Another simple shot. Probably isn't gonna help, but we'll take it anyway. Knife belt adds three kunai's at the start of your battle. Next mana one. Let's just take the health. This move is just ridiculous. Please nerf. Please nerf. Yeah, oh, we're getting some, some slowdown here too. Oh, what? I actually beat her somehow. While I was dying, I somehow killed her. That sucks. Alright. I've been doing this for almost two hours now. I think I've had my fill of it. Uh, it's really fun. I will say it is very addictive. Once you once you get the hang of it. As the tiles come back way quicker than Battle Network. Yes, that's true. I feel that there's a this this whole game is a lot more based on being fast paced than uh, than battle networks like strategy where it's more slower and it's more about playing the long game with some of the effects. This is definitely way more built towards like single attacks. Like you want to trap someone to get them in, in place so that you could do like a single good attack on them. This this definitely has less cheese than a battle network would, where, like, you could trap an enemy in one corner and then just lay into them. This definitely doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, lend itself to that kind of gameplay. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So, I'm definitely going to play this again. Maybe not on stream, but maybe just on my own. Uh, maybe I'll try mapping my keyboard to it. Or not my keyboard, my controller. Uh, but, yeah, um, if you like this, if you want to try it for yourself, you can check out, uh, one Step From Eden's Twitter account, which is at One Step From Eden. Uh, if you really like it, submit to their Kickstarter. Uh, give them some money, because they um, they got some cool stuff planned. And they've already been funded, so the game's going to happen no matter what. Any money from this point on is just to get like extra stuff out of them, which is really generous of them. And I'm really glad that they, they hit their goal so quickly. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to head out for tonight. I think that I've had my fill of this game for now. Um, I'll try to stream more next week. I know I've been, only been doing, like, one a week lately. But, um, I think I know what I want to stream next, at least for the next couple weeks. Because then, um, I have stuff planned for February and March. So I should be good on streams then, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Is there my host before I go? Not really... Ain't a whole lot of streams going on right now. I 
Alright then, I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming.